everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some walls that are gonna be built. So, a lot of people around this country have been building walls for a few years now. I don't think they've got done. But today, I think we can get done with some walls. So, we're gonna start off um, by cutting our um, boards out. So, I'm not gonna bore you too much with that. So, we're gonna go ahead and, and get started with that. The kids are gonna come out here in a little bit and help us out. Um, but some of this stuff is going to be a little hard for them to help with just because it takes a, a bigger hammer to drive the big nails. Um, but we'll still let them help some and when we lay it out, we'll, help, we'll get them involved there as well. So I want to try to get them involved as much as possible. I just know it's not going to be possible with everything we're doing today. But we'll go ahead and get started. Um, one change that I did do um, since last time you tuned in and we were working on the chicken coop um, was I picked up some treated lumber. So the more I thought about it, um, that bottom plate, uh, even though uh, it's gonna be up off the ground and everything, um, the chickens will be in there and uh, there's a chance for a little more moisture to get around the bottom uh, plate of the wall. So I went ahead and bought a few treated boards uh, to go ahead and do that instead of just the standard lumber. So thank you guys so much for following along today um, as we get these walls built and work towards a finished mobile chicken coop. The help has arrived. You guys ready to help da Daddy build some walls? Yeah, I got my hammer. You got your hammer? Where's my hammer? We'll find one for you. Yeah, I'll show my Before we can hammer, we gotta have boards to hammer, right? Yeah, All right. Boards. Well, let's lay out our let's lay out our wall. You know what a wall looks like before it's on the... Yeah, it looks around, like a triangle. No, it's not like a triangle. It's like kind of like a square or a rectangle. But before we can build our wall, we have to lay it down on the ground first, okay? Yeah. All right, be very careful with your hammers. Don't hit each other. You guys ready? Yeah, Everybody come grab a board. We need one on the end. Okay, I put this one. Put the F. You put one right there, just like Daddy did. Only stand it up like that. Right on the F. Yeah. So you like that? Is it standing up? You did it. It's got to stand up like this. See? You got it. Like that? You got it. Oh, you got to stand it up. Can you stand it up? Oh. There you go. I get mine up. All right. There. I'm going to get another one. Can you go get another one, yeah. Mazzy? Yeah. Can I put one on the oh, I need one right here, Mazzy. And right there, Ransom. You guys want to see how Daddy puts these on? Yeah. Okay. Mazzy, can you bring me some a couple nails? Where are they? Right here. Can I have my nail in? You guys want to help hammer them? Daddy has to get them almost all the way in before you can help, okay? okay I'm going to get mine. Get mine. I got mine.
So the next thing we got to do is build some headers for our window and our nesting box area. So we're going to build some real quick. Rangers have been excited to nail on something else because those walls are a little bit hard to nail, ain't they, bud? So this one's just a 21 inch header for the window. Okay, can you push down on this one real hard, just with your hands? Okay, ready? Just gonna get this one started and you can finish driving it, okay? Good job. All right, if you guys think Ranger did a good job, leave a comment down below. These nails are quite a bit harder to drive than the ones that we've worked with previously, but he did a good job on that, making that header for the windows. So we'll put a few more in it and we'll be done. All right, so mama saw a Ranger driving a nail like a pro and she didn't want to be outdone. Where do you want it? Anywhere right there will work. Good job, Mama. Need your glasses back? All right, so leave a comment down below who you think did better, Ranger or Cassie? <laughs> We're just about finished up with nailing, and I know some of you guys might be thinking, man, he could just get a nail gun and some nails and maybe a screw gun and some screws, and that'd be a lot easier. But as you saw earlier, the kids are learning a little bit. They're learning how to nail. Um, that's not something I think that every kid should really learn how to do, um, especially Ranger at this age. You know, he's, he's about to the age where I think it's really good to start learning skills like that because one day, you never know when he's going to need it. Um, he could use it to uh, build some projects. If he ever wants to make some extra money, you know, he could build some dog houses or um, bird houses or something like that. And later on in life, if he ever needs a skill to fall back on, if I can teach him a thing or two about framing, if he ever needs to go into a skill where he either frames houses or builds barns, he'll have something that he can always use later in life. So that's one reason that I wanted to do the nails um, instead of something else, especially on this part, just because I think it's something that the kids should learn and it's never um, a bad thing to practice myself. So we got that finished up. So now we have two walls built. We have the two side walls. So next thing I'm going to do is finish up and do the two um, end walls. So I'm going to talk to Cassie a little bit about that figure out the size of doors we want on it because that's where we're gonna put our access doors for us to get in and out of the chicken coop to clean it up. So we'll go ahead and get that done and hopefully get those walls standing up in a few minutes. All right, so we're finally on the end walls and one tip that I didn't mention earlier, but it's helped me not split these boards on the end is to uh, pre-drill.
the pre-drill the end of these just to make sure that they don't split out whenever you are nailing in um, your end boards on your bottom plates and top plates. Uh, I forgot to drill some a while ago, and sure enough, I look down and they split. Another thing is not over nailing them because that will also make them split even if you pre-drill. We'll get this end wall nailed up and we'll be ready to set some walls up. How's it look on the end? I need to go over it. Look good? So Cassie helped me get the walls up and I wanted to show you guys just a little bit of what we have going so far. So this little spot right here is going to be nest boxes. So coming out on each side, it'll be kind of like fenders over the wheel well. And we'll have nest boxes right here that we can open up and gather eggs. And then of course we've got our windows and right up front, we're gonna have a wide door where we can open it up and it swings out this way. And then we also have more nest boxes and another window on the other side. The only other thing we're going to do on the back is put in a door for the chickens and another door, uh, about a, probably a 24 or 30 inch door for us to get in and out of. So I just wanted to explain a little bit of what that was because I don't think I'd covered it yet as we were going through and building it. But hopefully it all makes sense now. If you got any questions, just drop those down in the comments below. As you can see, we finally got the walls up. So we're going to call it a day and we think we got a lot accomplished. Um, on this Saturday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed getting to see our mobile chicken coop get built uh, as we made a little bit more progress. Well, thank you guys so much. While the kids and Gary worked on the walls a lot, I was out doing chores and checking on, on animals. So. And someone's coming. And someone's coming? <laughs> I don't think so. But no. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ranger, what should they do? Tell them one thing. Hit that button for notifications. Ransom, what should they do? God bless. God bless you guys. Peace out. What in the world is happening in here? The kitty's here too. Oh my. Rest break. Yeah, I even have my water. Are you guys working or sleeping? Resting. Well, as he said, we needed to take a break. I didn't disagree. Yeah, this is comfy.